I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna throw someone under the bus today. I'm not proud of it, but also I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. What is up guys? Welcome back to Child Free Millennial. My name is Marcella. I'm 27. I'm child free. I am living my best life. If you're old here, I already said what's up but what's up again? So recently, if you follow me on Instagrams, I have my, my arms folded right now because I'm just feeling some type of way. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted about this, oh, maybe a few weeks ago, but there was a Facebook page called Child Free by Choice, which, you know, is a child free group. There's a lot of Facebook pages. I, I mean, I personally am in a lot of Facebooks that are dedicated to be child free, whether it's, you know, religious and child free or women and child free, whatever it is. I'm in a lot of those Facebook pages. Unfortunately, I am not in this one. So I was told by word of mouth what I'm about to relay to you guys. There was somebody who, as you can see, their name is right up there, who left a comment on this Facebook group talking about me. Yes, Child Free Millennial Marcella. That is my name. In case you didn't catch it in the intro, my name is Marcella. My first name is not Child Free. My last name is not Millennial. This person says, if any of you here have watched Child Free Millennial on YouTube, be aware that she tends to fall for people that bingo us. If you don't know what bingoing is, it's basically this theoretical bingo chart, kind of like this, where you fill in every single space with cliche things that people say that we're gonna change our mind, we're gonna be old and on our deathbed alone, like all the all the very dumb things that people say. It's a theoretical bingo chart. So anyways, they said that I tend to fall for people that bingo us. At first she seems terrific when you start watching her content about child-free people, which thank you, I feel like I am terrific, so I appreciate that. But once you start to watch her more often, you'll see just how much of a fence sitter she really is. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the rest of this comment before I go in on it. She once posted a video in response to a bingo from a troll that said, you'll change your mind. And she said that, quote, yeah, I may change my mind, end quote. And then one time I was watching a live stream with her and she said, just out of the blue, quote, but you never know because you could easily wake up one day and all of a sudden you could want kids. So you never know, end quote. I really don't recommend her. She doesn't deserve that amount of attention she gets on YouTube. So let's just kind of dissect this a little bit because I, and you know what? I, I'm not one to be like, oh, and I don't know this person, right? Like, I don't know this person, don't know anything about them, don't know their age, don't know where they live. Maybe they are a fence setter themselves. I have no idea. So I'm not gonna try to like throw shade on them, but I do want to address the toxicity that happens within the child-free community. A lot of times someone is very firm in their choice of being child-free. They feel as though other people can't even speak about people changing their minds. They can't even talk about children. They can't even like look at parents and smile at them because then they're not child-free. Free. Like they really aren't supporting the child free movement or the community and they're two faced and they're fence sitting. They're not actually who they say they are, <laughs> which I just have to laugh at because if that person actually knew me, which I know a lot of you guys watching me don't actually know me. There's a few of you who watch me who I actually know in real life, mostly my family and my friends, but I would say 99.9% .9 of you guys don't actually know who I am. Don't know who I am outside of this little space of YouTube and Instagram. So I'm just going to say it. That person's shallow and they're also projecting the same way that parents are projecting when they tell Tell us those bingo you'll regret it you're missing out you'll never know true love that person is projecting on me their insecurities their hate their i don't know like maybe they're going through a really hard time and i feel like i myself am empathetic enough to step outside of my shoes and to look at that person and be like wow i really feel bad for you because hurt people hurt people i would never want to come on here and just openly bash someone, especially by name. I always try to keep things anonymous. I know sometimes I poke fun at people's comments and I, I leave their username in. I like to pride myself in the fact that I am very open-minded and I am very accepting of others, no matter what they are, mother, father, on the fence, child-free, childless, no matter who you are, I'm going to include you. And just because I stated that you never know, you could wake up one day and change your mind, doesn't mean that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just saying that that is something that happens to people. It's something that is not uncommon for people to wake up one day and have a change of heart, change their mind, decide that yes, they wanna have kids or they wanna get out of a relationship or they wanna move or they wanna change careers or whatever it is. I'm just being open-minded, so I'm sorry that you're closed-minded and you can't fathom that people are wanting to change. Sorry, there I said it. Also, the fact that I said, yeah, I might change my mind. If anything, you should be applauding the fact that I am being so vulnerable on the internet. Like, please, feel free to make a YouTube video. Feel free to be on social media and be open to all the other trolls that are gonna come after you. But me saying that I'm gonna change my mind is very, very vulnerable. Me, me already saying the very taboo subject of me not wanting to have kids and that being my social media 
media presence. Like that alone is something that is commendable in my opinion. Obviously that person doesn't think so, but also me being open to change, not me pretending like I will never change my mind or I'll never regret my decision or that I will never feel any sort of like negative emotions towards the fact that I am child free. Like if anything, I am being so open, so honest, so raw with the way that I am feeling my divorce even like I know that that's totally unrelated to being child free, but I have been open and I have been vulnerable on this channel before and I will continue to be. I know a lot of you guys watching are probably just like deep in the comments right now being like, oh my gosh, like, and please feel free to comment whatever, whatever thoughts come in your mind in the comments below. Not trying to like toot my own horn or not trying to gas me up. Like I, I just want you to know that being a creator in a space, I am opening myself to hate, to love, to support, to people who are child free, but also don't agree with the fact that I'm open-minded. Like I know that this happens when you're on the internet, but I feel like it needs to be talked about how even in a community where you feel like you are accepted and you feel like you finally found the people who love you, who support you, who are your real ride or dies, there are always people who will be the naysayers, the ones who are hoping for your downfall, the ones who don't like you, the ones who think that I'm a fence sitter, which I, I just had to laugh at that because like if, if they think that I'm a fence sitter, they obviously don't know that I have a metophobia, which I talk about in every freaking video. The fact that I don't want to throw up, if anything, if anything, please just tell yourself that I don't want to have kids because I'm afraid of throwing up. Like if that's what you need to tell yourself, by all means, tell yourself that. <laughs> and you know what? It's okay if you don't recommend me because I don't recommend a lot of other people to each their own. If that's what you needed to do in order to <laughs> find peace, then by all means go for it because I have thick skin and I, I do not care. Some of you might be like, oh, hey, well, you do actually care because you're making a YouTube video about this. I guess in some regard, I do care. I do care enough to be a voice to those of you who might find that within the child-free community, you are getting hate or you don't feel accepted because yes, even in this community, in any community, Community. I mean, let's just turn the page and go to motherhood. In the motherhood community, there are so many moms that are openly hating on each other because one, they had a C-section and not a natural birth, or two, they didn't breastfeed and that's not being a real mother, or three, they're not a stay-at-home mom, they're a working mom. Like, there's so many people that will just openly hate on others because they are unhappy themselves, they are hurt, they are just miserable human beings, dare I say. So if you take away anything from this, I mean, I just know that I'm not affected by this. Like, I, I'm I'm sad that you feel that way, the person who initially posted this. I, I'm sorry that my content isn't resonating with you, but that's why the internet is amazing because you can find other creators that you do vibe with, other creators that are maybe hating kids or maybe they, they don't, aren't open to change. And you know what? That's okay. I don't personally follow those creators, but you definitely can. And some of you might be like, oh, well, she's just a people pleaser. She just wants to please everyone. the moms, the dads, the child free, the childless, the, the fence sitters. Yes, I do. And if you don't like me because of that, sorry, not sorry. That's just who I am. I am inclusive of everyone and anyone. So if you don't like that about a person, just unfollow, just mute, unsubscribe. Like there's so many buttons that you'll never see my face again ever on the internet. Like it's so easy to do that nowadays. But for those of you who have stuck with me and those of you who are on my side of the child free, you know, Venn diagram, because I feel like there's so many different bubbles that connect us. Thank you. Thank you for being open and honest. There's so many parents on this page. I'm just going to highlight a few of you guys that I am constantly interacting with that I love love and I love who always are there supporting me who are really my ride or dies. I appreciate people who are open-minded. I appreciate people who are open to change. I appreciate people who can be friends with others even though they don't believe or they don't agree with the same things that they do. I initially created this space on the internet because I never found a creator that was like me. I never found someone who was inclusive. I never found someone who was child-free but also loved kids. I never found someone who was Christian and child-free. Someone who was Hispanic and child-free. Somebody who went through a divorce and child-free. I'm sorry that my life and involves so many different things, but yet I'm inclusive of everyone. I don't know if any of this is making sense, but I just know that I'm here for you. At the end of the day, even the person who initially posted this, I am here for you. I'm here for each and every single one of you, no matter who you are, no matter your background, no matter what you believe in, no matter if you change your mind or not, no matter if you regret your life or not. <sighs> That's all I'm gonna say. But thank you so much for sticking with me. Please comment below any comments you have. Um, I am so grateful for each and every one of you that has subscribed, that comments, that DMs me, that supports me, whether it's even just giving a like to a video. Like that means so much to me and I see you. I see you and I truly do love and appreciate you. Like I always say, this is your life. These are your decisions. Please make good decisions. <laughs> Live your best life. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.